Hey guys, so today I'm doing my products weekly video. Um, random hair. Um, sorry. And last week in my video, I got a bunch of products for a products weekly haul because I have to start saving money and I thought, well, why not get them all right now and then I don't have to worry about it for a while. Um, and the products I decided to review for this week were the NYC products. Now, I didn't want to do these all separate because these two products especially are really tiny for themselves and there's not a lot to review so I thought it'd be pointless to do like a two minute products weekly video so that was the NYC blushable cream stick this one's in plaza pink You're not gonna be able to see it, it's too tiny and the next one is extreme lip glider this one's in park avenue pink um, and my mom actually saw that I got this one, and she was like, oh, well, do you like them? And I was like, yeah. Um, and so she actually went out and got me this one. Now, I didn't know she was going to get me one, because I don't know if that's considered cheating or what for a Project 10 Pan. But this one is in Plaza Punch. It's a really nice color. The one I have on now, though, is Park Avenue Pink, and I have it on with Myth Lipstick. Um... Okay, so I'm going to start with the blush. So basically with the blush, you get a lot of product. There's a little bit coming out of the top. Now you don't need a lot, so I actually haven't used very much. And it goes all the way there. So that is a lot of product. You barely need any. What I do with it is I take it and go, I smile, find my apples and go one, two. And it's like really like tiny swipes that go like this. So you get like the tiniest mark and then I like... Blend it like this and then kind of just swirl it around and it gives you such nice color. The one day I actually wore this by, or like two days or something, I wore this by itself. I just put it on and put powder over top to set it. Um, and then some days I do that, put powder and then put blush. Um, it kind of gives it a bit more color. Now the other variety of colors of these I find aren't very good. Um... I think they're all berry type colors. I didn't really give a good look. Um, the store that I went was really low on products. Um, I really like this one, although the only bad thing is from the packaging, it looks like a coral color. From the name, it's pink, but from the packaging, it's coral. And if you do one swipe on your hand, it's a Barbie pink. So I'd just be really careful about that if you're going to purchase this product thinking that it's a coral color, because it's not. Um, it's pink. And I was watching a video one time, and they were reviewing these, and they said that this is a coral color, and I was like, well, no, it's not. Like, They were like, oh, we thought it was going to be pink because of the name, but it was a coral color, and I was like, well, no, it's Barbie pink. Like, It's not coral at all. Um, so to conclude that, I think this product's really good. I would definitely buy it again, um, for sure when I run out of it in like 10 years, but I think it's really worth the money. It's only like four bucks, okay? So it's not a lot of money. Um, perfect price, works really well. Um, I have not tried matte cream blushes or anything, so I can't compare it. That's my first cream blush. And I definitely like it. It's a good product. So I would give it a 9. It's a good product, good price. Really easy to find. You can get these at Walmart. I did see them there the other day when I was getting cat food. And you can get them at Pharma Plus, I'm pretty sure. That's where I got that one. But I don't know if all of them have them. Just check your local drugstore. You probably have them. Now, way to drop it. For these, I really do like these. Um, they come with a lot of product. Don't step on the computer, honey. Here. Um, they have a lot of product in them. I don't think it's as much as the lip jelly. I'm not quite sure about a lip gloss. I could check. Hold on. Okay. So my lip glosses are zero. 0.17 US ounces. These are 0 0.29. So these ones have more than a lip gloss and they're way lower price. 
and my cream sheen, I don't know how much it has, but I'm pretty sure it's less than a lip gloss, so it's way price difference from that. Um, so that kind of concludes that these are way better in price than that. These are like three, four bucks. Um, depends where you go for them. So these are three, four bucks. Lip glosses are sixteen fifty, and cream sheens are twenty one fifty. So definitely better price to buy these. Um, they're not sticky. I find um, they. Although the only thing is, I can do a little swatch for you. This is Park Avenue Pink. That's kind of why I wanted a different one, but I can't go buy it. And I didn't tell my mom to go get it. Don't get me wrong. Like, she was kind of like, oh, those are new. Did you like them? And I was like, well, yeah, I guess. So this one's Park Avenue Pink. It's very, very sheer and light. And this one's um, Plaza Punch. So that one has a lot more pigmentation than the other one. The other one's kind of just like a gloss. Depends what you're looking for in it, though. Um, and if you didn't know, this was part of my Project 10 pan. I don't really want to say it is. It's like a half and half product. Depends on when I finish first. But these I would give an 8.5. Um, just because this one doesn't have very much pigmentation and the color variety isn't very good. Um, when I actually first got the pink one, like the first one, I was deciding on one of these two. Because my mom knows that I don't like berries or anything, so I actually don't know why she got me this. I'm surprised she didn't get me this one again. But she knows I don't like the reds and the browns and stuff like that. So she wanted to get me something I might like. She said she swatched them all and she wanted to get me this one. So that's the only thing. These are the only two colors I would ever buy probably unless they came out with more. Um, and there is a lot in them. They're really good. What's the matter? Billy's going funny. I already tried to film this video, like, right before this. And she was going crazy in my closet. And normally she does that when she has to pee. And I was like, well, go in your litter box. And she went in because it's really dirty and she's really picky. And I need to clean it, which I'm doing after I film. Because I haven't filmed in a while. So I'm doing that after I film. And she was just eating. Okay, so next week's products, weekly product, is the L'Oreal Go 360 Clean. This is the Deep Facial Cleanser. It's the blue one. There's a green exfoliator, a orange cleanser, and then there's the pink and blue ones, and they're the deep facial cleansers, I'm pretty sure. They're for, like, sensitive skin or something. I don't know, so I'm, I've already used this, um, but I'm going to review it for you guys next week so there is that and I want to show you guys one more thing really really quick um I got these for Bailey because I don't want to declaw her and I can't get anyway these are soft paws and basically what they are is they are little little claws you glue them on to her claws and it like rounds them off so it stops her from scratching I thought that was so cool um I can review those if you guys want but Definitely don't have to. I'm going to see if there's a picture of a cat wearing them because they're really cute. Like that you can see. Here's like some of the colors. So that's kind of what they look like. They're just like little tips that go on their nails and it make, like paints them pink. So I thought that was cute. Um, so if you want me to review those, let me know. I'll show you her claws when I put them on anyway. But thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see you guys in the next video.